Hello friends, welcome to BSV Solution. My name is Lukesh Gandhi. In our today's session, we are going to create outbound order in Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. Outbound order of the order that are placed by the customer for inventory from the warehouse. Order can be come from the individual customer, companies, stores, or distribution center. So when we create the outbound order in WMS Cloud, we required the order type. Basically, the order type differentiate the order based on the certain characteristics. So how to create order type in WMS? First, we will see it and then we will create the outbound order in WMS Cloud. So let's move to the instance. Now go to order type So search. Order type. and click on create icon right. now we have the fields order type description and so many flags and different flags have the different functionality and we will go with the uh, mandatory fields so first we have to define the order type name so let's define test order type right you can define the description right and we have the facility order flag flow through flag right so when we select the facility order flag this it means it use for the order that will be shipped to facility that is pre-configured in oracle wms right in the same way when we select the flow through flag so this flag is used to allow the order to be fulfilled via cross, right? And in the same way, we have the wave flag. And the wave flag is allow you to allocate the order by the waves. And this flag must be checked for the order to be allocated. So click on check box, right? And we have the partial allocation and only deallocate on short. So the partial allocation flag allows the order to have the partial allocation. And when this flag is not checked, the order can only be fully allocated. Otherwise, the order will not be allocated. Right. And we have the SNIBO. Click on that. We have the units, packs, and cases. The SNIBO fields allows you to update the quantity of the order based on what was sent on the asn and this field is only for the flow through functionality right and this order must also have the other checks such as the uh, partial allocation is said to be true and the flow through flag said to be true right we can set the SNPO to either unit, case, and the packs. Right. We go with the units, right? And we have the single order multiple load. You can go with the allow, right? And we have some more fields. Let's click on save. So in this way, we can create the order type in WMS, right? Now let's create the outbound order. So we have to search the keyword that is order header screen. Order header, click on that. And click on create icon so that we can create the order right we can mention the order number over here like we can insert the outbound order 007 right and you can select the order type which we created earlier that is 
test order type. Right. And the status is created. And we have to define the destination company over here. So select the company. And you can define the customer PO number and the customer name. Let's define the customer name over here. And we have to define the address. Right. We have more information regarding the customer. You can define. And we have to define the request ship date. So requested ship date is 31st of January. And you can define the start ship date, shop, stop ship date, right? And many more information you can define as per your requirement, right? So click on save. So after creating this order, we must specify the item. The item being order and their respective order quantity. So how can we define the item and the order quantity? Now select our record and click on detail, order detail. Click on this create icon. And on this window, we can define our item. Click on search icon. And this is our item that is varying. Click on OK. And we can define the order quantity 1000. Right. Click on save. Right. To header. So in this way, we can create the order type and outbound order in Oracle WMS Cloud. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.